David Robertson uh, signs a deal with the Chicago White Sox. Uh, are you surprised that the Yankees decided to move on from the closer? Um, you know, you, yeah, you're always surprised when, you know, a guy is homegrown. Um, but, I mean, that's free agency. You know, you, you get better offers, and, and that's, uh, you know, just something that, that you have to be, you know, willing to, to accept if you put, you know, the player gets out there. So, um, you know, D-Rob definitely deserves the deal. Um, you know, I know Cash and them have a plan in the front office, and, and uh, you know, we'll look to see what, what's next for us. No, CC, we saw the dominant stuff of Dellen Batances last year. How about his mindset? Do you think he's ready to handle the ninth inning? I think he can. Um, Dellen is definitely, uh, he, he's very mature. Uh, he's been through a lot, and, and uh, you know, none of his success is, uh, has gotten to his head. He's really working hard this offseason, and, um, you know, I think he, he definitely could if, if, that's, uh, if that's need be. I know, uh, you know, I like the signing of Andrew Miller. Um, you know, so uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I know you don't know the specifics, but do you think the Yankees are going to have some more moves this offseason? Do you envision maybe another big starting pitcher coming or some more uh, bullpen help or even a, another starter or uh, as far as a, a regular position player? Or do you think that uh, maybe this offseason is kind of wrapping up now for the Yankees? I have no idea, and I think, you know, that's the thing about the Yankees. Nobody has any idea. You know, it, it's always uh, something that they're looking to add. And, um, you know, like last year, you know, we thought we weren't, um, looking to add anybody, and we end up going out and signing a lot of guys. So you never know, and and uh, that's the good thing about being here in New York. So let me let me ask you this, CC. You're on Twitter later today, because let's be I know you're all over Twitter, all right? And you 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 you're scrolling through, and you see Buster only reports the Yankees are signing John Lester. What would your reaction be? That's awesome. <laughs> I, I love. I mean, that, that's you know, the, uh, he's a great pitcher. I mean, you know, uh, I think. Uh, He's one of the, you know, pitching for, against him for a long time in the, in the AL East, you know, watching him do his thing. I mean, he's great. So, uh, any, you know, anybody would help. So, i will be excited. You know, CeCe, last night, you, uh, you had a pretty good seat at that Nets-Cavs game. <laughs> so, you're sitting courtside. I, I have to ask you, you when you are, when you're around Jay-Z, and I know now you have a you know, business relationship as well because you're Rock Nation, but... Is there any party? Do you, do you have any nerves around? That's a big time celebrity, Jay Z. Yeah, he is. But you know what? Since you know, from day one since I've been here, he's always been, uh, you know, really cool, almost like a big brother type. So uh, now there's no nerves. You know, we just go sit there, watch the game, um, you know, talk, and and he's a big sports fan, just like you know you and I, and we sit there and laugh and and have a good time. So it's fun. Does he does he get emotional during the games? Is he still rooting hard for the Nets? He roots for the Nets. He definitely roots for the Nets. Um, you know, it, it was uh, it was funny last night just watching him with LeBron and, and uh, you know, watching him with the Nets and stuff, so it was cool. Did you get to, to speak with uh, Prince uh, William at all? Did you have a little sit-down with him? Oh, no chance, man. I'm not. You've got to be a big-time celebrity for that, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> that let, me, let, me ask you, right there. let me ask you about the Yankees staff. Uh, if, if there's a Yankees fan out there, why should he, she, whoever, not be concerned with Tanaka's elbow injury, with Pineda constantly being hurt, and with you coming off uh, some injury as well? Well, I just think that, you know, look at last year. I think, you know, I don't think pitching was our problem. I think, um, you know, even, you know, uh, Big Mike coming back, he was healthy. You know, he pitched great. Um, you got Nova coming off injury. You know, he's going to be healthy. Um, you know, McCarthy filled in well. So, um, you know, the guys pitched great. The bullpen pitched great. So I don't think that was, uh, that was really a problem. And, and, you know, hopefully I can come back and be healthy. I'm looking forward to that. I'm 100%. Um, I know Tanaka's, you know, like I said, is going to be coming back, uh, you know, hopefully ready to go. And, and hopefully we can just put a season together where everybody can be healthy, throw 200 innings, stay in the rotation, and, and see what happens. CC, I mean, you, for a lot of years, you were a beast in this league. When I watched Madison Bumgarner this postseason, you know, it reminded me of what I saw from you in 09. And now you've had a couple years in a row where you've dealt with different injuries. Uh, how much are you thirsting to get back to that where you're on the mound and you just feel like I, there's nothing you can do to touch me i have this I, I mean are you yearning to get back to that place yeah i'm just excited uh i feel pretty good you know and and uh i mean you know my arm feels good my knee feels great so um i'm ready to get to spring training i feel like i've just been working out you know for about, about the year, last year just because i i miss so much time so um you know it's been a lot of time spending in the training room and rehabbing and stuff so i'm ready to get down to Tampa and get going all right, D.D. Gregorius. 
Uh, What do you say to a guy who's replacing one of the greats in the history of this game, a a guy that played for the Yankees forever, who did it the right way, who handled himself with uh, unbelievable expertise on and off the field? I I mean, these are unbelievable shoes to fill. Do you sit down with Gregorius and say, just be yourself, or, or, or how does this work for the new shortstop? I think you just have to, you know, tell him to go out and be yourself. Um, you know, there, there's no, you know, really replacing Jeep. You know, um, you know, you just said it all. I mean, he's one of the, the the best players to play the game of all time, and to do it here for so long, he's he's been great. So uh, you just have to let, you know, Didi go out and be himself, and um, you know, hopefully he just plays great for us. You know, play some good defense and get some good get uh, good hits for us. We're talking with CC Sabathia here, Ruko and Rothenberg in for Michael and Don on the Michael K Show. All right, CC, let's ask you the important stuff. How badly do you want Jim Harbaugh to be the next head coach of your Raiders? Uh, not only Jim Harbaugh as the as the coach, but I need uh, Gruden as the GM. Ooh, really? But that's yeah, not like going to happen. That's not going to happen. No. But I mean, in fantasy, that'd be awesome, right? <laughs> that that would be awesome. Now, would you? Let's say the Raider. You're a big celebrity fan of the Raiders. The Raiders come to you and they say, CC, we want you to make part of the pitch to Jim Harbaugh and maybe even John Gruden. Are you are you are you doing that? Are you willing to do that? Oh yeah, of course, uh, of course. I'm a, I'm a huge Raider fan. I've always you know you you guys know that. Mm-hmm. I always have been. So uh, yeah, I mean I mean I would love to see that. So. Um, Hopefully you know, they ask big, you. Big win this week over the Niners. It was. They've uh, won two is, out of three now. If there's a such thing as a big win for a, a <laughs> one in eleven team, right? But uh, That's right. that was fun to watch. Well, and and you actually you get some bragging rights in the Bay Area over that game, I would imagine. Of course, forever, because you know the Niners may not make the playoffs now. So, um, mm, true. You know, I've been all over social Seven media, and and texting my friends, and uh, <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Yankees ever ask you to do that? Yankees ever say, "Listen, we're we're hot and heavy after this free agent. Would you maybe uh, give him a call or go out to dinner with him and talk to him?" Yeah, I, I talked to McCann uh, last year in the off season. Yeah, um, yeah, and just you know talk to him about you know living here, and um, you know he was concerned about living areas and, and things like that. So. I got a chance to talk to him right before we signed him. So, yeah, I'm willing to do that anytime. All right, so last night, CeCe, I know you're not going to tell me exactly what you were showing LeBron on your phone, but you probably know you were, after the game, you, Jay-Z, and LeBron are huddled up, and you're showing LeBron something on your phone, I believe, right? And, oh, yeah, 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 after the game. Yeah, after the game. And the cameras catch you, and I'm just thinking, I'm like, when you're, when you're doing that, are you thinking, my gosh, I, I got to make sure no camera sees what's actually on the phone that I'm showing him? Uh, honestly, I wasn't thinking that, so maybe but maybe I should, though. The next <laughs> <time>. <laughs> so, well, uh, what was it? What are you uh, showing him? You can't tell. Was, Why can't I ask him? No, I, honestly, it wasn't anything. It was actually the clip of Jay-Z, the way he looked after LeBron made that, that fadeaway. Oh, that Somebody clip is amazing. That yeah, yes. So that was funny. Did you see the clip, Dave? No. Well, it's Jay-Z. He, LeBron hits a fadeaway from the left wing, the right wing, with Bogdanovich all over him. It's right. just a disgusting shot. It's one of those LeBron shots. And Jay-Z just gives him the look like, you're something special, kid. <laughs> like, you know, he just gives yeah, him that. It was, it was fun.